Okay, we're gonna have some fun today. Uh, this place is near the Grand Ole Opry and it's right next to Willie Nelson and Friends Museum. And this is a place that I can't say it's a must see, but it's a lot of fun. And it is called Cooters. If you're a Dukes of Hazards fan, you know about Cooters. I am John and this is Nashville Travel Concierge and Cooters is a sort of gift shop slash museum all dedicated to the show The Dukes of Hazards. The actor who played Cooter on uh, Dukes of Hazards was uh, Ben Jones and he's still around and uh, besides being an actor on several different shows uh, he was also a former congressman for the state of Georgia. You probably noticed at the beginning, before we came inside, there was a, a tow truck outside the front door. Uh, that was one of the trucks used by Ben Jones as Cooter in the uh, show. There are three types of items you're going to see walking through here. You're going to see souvenirs, you'll see collectible items, and you'll see items that are part of the museum. Will we see everything? No. I'm going to be skipping or going fast through a lot of the souvenirs because that's the sort of thing you can see when you come here. I do want to say that they have Dukes of Hazards everything from trash cans to bedspreads to backpacks to drinking glasses. Whatever they can slap a logo on or show a logo on, they, can, they have done it. So as we're looking at the Daisy barbecue sauce or the Uncle Jesse hot sauce, I'd like to ask you, uh, if you watch this show, which character or characters were your favorites? Okay, now we're entering a section dedicated to Waylon Jennings who sang the theme song. He was also a narrator for the show. And here we have some items that were made popular by Katherine Bach or Daisy Duke. And if you look, there was a pair of shorts. Those are called the Daisy Dukes, which was real popular. It's a term that people still use today. And of course, they have some posters with the uh, Sheriff Roscoe and uh, some uh, uh, signs that deal with places and in uh, Hazard County. And we just keep on going. And everything we see here are uh, items that were collected and donated to the uh, museum that have a lot more value than some of the other items you'll see. And here we have a section dedicated to Boss Hog and there's some a Boss Hog uh, Halloween costume that was pretty frightening and uh, they also have a uh, Bo Duke uh, Halloween costume I saw earlier with a mask and uh, that's also pretty creepy as well. And as we're looking here, this is a section dedicated to Uncle Jesse. That's uh, Denver Pyle was the actor. I'm not sure what that jar, jar was supposed to be, but if anybody knows, let me know. And there we have some pictures of Sonny Schroyer, who played the deputy Enos on the show. Now you may also remember him from the movie Forrest Gump. He played Bear Bryant. And of course we have uh, several items that are, that are uh, attached to uh, James Best who played Sheriff Roscoe Co-Train. And here's a collection of Hazard Sheriff's Department toys that were on sale back when the show was on. And of course we had a collection of posters and cars and action figures and uh, all sorts of things that uh, sold because of the popularity of the show. So as we look at all these items, uh, I wanted to mention that this show ran from 1979 to 1985. That was 36 years ago. And uh, from the crowds that I have seen, I've been in this uh, museum three times, the crowds that I have seen in this uh, place and the people that uh, go to the signings, the popularity is still there. What do you think it is that made people uh, 
love the show. Now in this section here, I was told that these items were your more valuable collectibles. Uh, you had the, the games, the watches, the, uh, the car models, the uh, action figures. Uh, but in this area, for some reason, these are the more expensive uh, items. The, uh, the, the dinner tray, there's the, the uh, playing cards or the uh, collectible cards. We have a couple of the more expensive models and next to that we have some photographs of the stuntmen at work. And then we have a section that's dedicated to Ben Jones who again is the owner and he also played Cooter on the show. see a couple more posters and several model cars of the General Lee. Uh, they put them out in multiple colors. I don't know why but they did and these are all uh, as a set they're very valuable. It almost appears that the star of the show was actually the General Lee. As we look here, we can see some pictures done by kids that were school age back when the show was on 36 to 40 years ago. There's a good chance that these people probably have kids the same age that they were when they did these drawings. And here's a model that somebody did of the uh, Town of Hazard. And there's Cooter's shop right there. And coming up we have the car that was driven by uh, Sheriff Roscoe in the show. And if you get a look, there's a, 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 a stuffed uh, animal or a, a dog up on top of it. And I don't remember the name of the dog on the show. If you, anybody remembers that, let me know. One interesting thing they have there is a, a film strip that explains how the show was filmed and goes into the stunt driving. And here we have uh, parts of one of the General Lees uh, signed by uh, one of the stunt uh, drivers. And if you look on this uh, hood of this car we're about to see, you're going to see uh, Luke Duke's uh, so it's Tom Wolpitt's signature. And it's the uh, same stunt driver uh, who uh, probably did a lot of the driving on the show. And here we have one of the general leads that was used for the show. And uh, you can actually have your picture taken on, in any of these vehicles while you're here. And we are now entering the uh, Daisy Duke or Catherine Bach section of the uh, museum. And the first thing we're going to see is Daisy Duke made out of Legos. Finally, we get to see the Dixie Lee, the uh, vehicle that Daisy drove on the show. And now I want to thank you all for stopping by. Hit like if you liked it, and if you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and I appreciate that as well. I hope you had a great time here, and I'm going to have a new video out next Saturday. Have a good week.